Hi, this is Walter Wiese with Parks Fly Shops Fly Tying Video for the 13th of March 2010. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a fly called a Soda Fountain Parachute, which is a green drake, flavolinia, and bluing olive pattern um, that we use primarily out in the Lamar drainage in July, August, and early September. Uh, we stock this fly all the way from 10 down to 20. It's a really good one. It's by Dave Keltner, who used to guide for us and then was a ranger out there in the Lamar district. So uh, this was one of the few flies he fished. And this insect is, uh, the insect this really imitates best, um, there's two of them. There's the, the summer green drake, which is kind of a July insect in Soda Butte and the Lamar and uh, basically that whole area. It also imitates a smaller fly, which we're, we're not entirely sure if it's a flavolinia or a just a very small summer green drake. Uh, the earlier bugs are a size 10 to 12, the later ones are a 14 to 16. This fly here is a 14. And all these insects generally hatch in relatively no, low numbers, usually mixed in with the pale morning duns. And the fish really key on them. When we do get a really heavy hatch, you'll see every fish in the river rising. And even when there's only a few of them, a lot of times the fish will prefer these to the pale morning duns. Uh, so the hook here is a size 14 standard dry, thread is 8 aught uh, olive dun, the tail is a split tail of dark gray microfibits, abdomen is a gray olive turkey biot over a tapered underbody, the thorax is Adam's gray dubbing, the post wing is uh, dark gray or dark dun parapost wing, and the hackle is a dark dun. Okay, first step in tying the soda fountain. Go ahead and start your thread and lay a thread base down to the bend. And I'm overwrapping my butt end or my tag end of thread and making sure to keep it on top of the hook shank. Now the tail I'm using is a fairly heavy bundle of dark down microfibits. Uh, you'll a lot of times see flies that only have a handful of, of uh, microfibits, one or two on each side. And for a small mayfly, that makes sense for these great big ones, uh, especially since the natural insect has a pretty heavy tail, uh, pretty prominent tail, you want to use a pretty heavy bundle of fibers. I'm going to tie that in with about two thread wraps. I'm going to take my tag end to thread and thread that right up the middle there between the two tails. And it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but you do want it to be noticeable that there's there's basically two different uh, tails there, and it's kind of hard to see that against the the vise. But hopefully, you get the sense of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna overwrap all that right up almost to where I started my thread, and secure my parachute post, which in this case is dark gray. Parapost wing, you could use poly yarn, float viz, all those things are about the same. I'm going to wrap that about a third of the way back down towards the tail and take my scissors here and cut that at a very steep angle back towards the tail and then overwrap those butts. That's going to create a tapered underbody. Now my body is a dyed gray olive turkey biot and I'm going to secure that with the fuzzy side facing up. Make one loose wrap like that and pull just like that and that's going to keep that fuzzy side so it shows when you wrap it. And Before I wrap it I'm going to just a little bit of super glue right there. It's actually too much. And then I'm going to wrap that biot into that glue. And that's going to create a much more durable fly. I seem to have put the uh, camera a little too close to the vise, but it can't be helped. That's a perfect reason for using the super glue. Notice it doesn't unravel completely when my Hackle pliers came off. Come on. 
If, it's, if someone ever invents a hackle pliers that actually works, they're going to make a lot of money. Okay, there's the completed body. And now what I'm going to do is grab that parachute post and actually bring it vertical. Now I'm going to do that by making quite a few thread wraps right in front of it, like so. And then I'm going to take my thread, go right around the base. basically just a little higher than where I'm going to want my my hackle to end. I'm going to come right back down again and really reef down down towards the bottom here to keep that thing from getting pulled away from vertical. And you can also apply some super glue right there. But if you if you wrap it tightly enough, you don't need it. My hackle is dark done uh, with a little faint barring on it. Probably what it is is a grizzly hackle that had been bleached and then dyed. I'm going to secure that right to the post and then wind up over it and then down again. You'll see different instructions for you know, tying the hackle next to the post or tying it directly to the post. I like to tie it directly to the post. Now the thorax on this fly is Adam's gray dubbing. Just a standard dry fly dub. And you'll want to look closely at the dubbing before you buy it. Some of the, the dubbings marked Adam's gray are much paler than this and wouldn't work for this fly. Some of them are too dark. So I've seen everything from the proper dubbing called everything from Adam's Gray to Iron Gray Dawn to uh, Calabatus even. And uh, usually it's Adam's Gray, but you just want to kind of look closely at it to make sure. And these flies have a fairly prominent thorax, and so I'm wrapping that a little thicker than the abdomen. And you can tie off the, the parachute hackle to the post if you like. Uh, I usually tie it off at the front here. So I'm going to grab my hackle, make one, two, three, four, five, five to seven turns down that post. What I like to do is pull that hackle vertically uh, down away from the eye like that, then bring my thread up. very carefully like wrap like that. I find I trap a few less fibers like that. Clip your hackle and then hold those fibers back. Make a nice neat head. And then whip finish. I'm not all that good at tying parachutes, so hopefully this fly doesn't look too ratty. And the last step is to trim that parachute post about the length you want it. And there is a completed soda fountain parachute. Um, this is another fly that will be appearing in the book I'm working on. And the pattern is on our website. Uh, the link should, be, should show up in the video uh, if you want the full recipe. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.